Hello there and welcome to yet another Wi-Fi Sheep Tech video with me Tom. Now today we're looking at a bit of nostalgia. Now for most people and in most videos that tends to be, I don't know, a video game, an operating system even. But for me it was something a bit different. Yes, it included the 8-bit BBC Micro system, but when I was at school these computers in frontline service ran one program and one program only. And it so happens I have a copy on disk. Now, instead of just showing you on an emulator the software I want to show you today, I'm actually going to connect this computer up to a PC and we're going to video capture its direct output. And we're going to do that with this fateful netbook PC connected via USB to analog video converter. So here on the back of this BBC Micro Model B, you can see I have an RGB lead already connected. That's for the uh, cub monitor up here. We then have a black and white BNC fitting for a uh, phono adapter, and that allows a black and white composite out. And next to it, I have modified what used to be the RF UHF out, and I've modified it now to colour composite, as you can see it clear labelled here in the blue. And this simply allows us to take a standard RCA you usually get them in ones or twos like this. We only need one feed for video, so we use the black cable. And I can simply plug that into the existing socket, which on the BBC Micro was an RCA, but was never actually composite out without the mod. And here on the computer side, I've got this Acer Windows 7 netbook connected to a USB video capture card. And you can see it's split into uh, the audio left right channels and the yellow and S video the yellow being composite video and we can simply plug the other end of that black cable in like so and now if we power up the BBC Micro there you go you can see we now have the display ready for recording digitally onto the computer and that's the video feed that you'll be able to see for the rest of the video Okay, the final thing to do is to actually load the software, which means putting the disk in. Now, there's all sorts of alternative ways of loading this software, including off uh, SD cards and all kinds of modern uh, data logging systems I've actually got fitted to this micro. But I thought, for the sake of this video and for uh, the recreation of the ye olde experience, I thought we'd actually run off an original five and a quarter inch floppy disk. This is a, uh, a new write, it's new old stock disk, so it's 30 years old disk, but it's never been used, and it's fresh out the box. And I have put the software onto this disk, especially for it. So the program is called Stylus, it's an 80 track BBC Micro floppy disk. And we're gonna put that in the drive. Now, with it safely in, we go shift break on the BBC Micro. And there we go. So you may have noticed that the um, video feed is a little on the wobbly side to say the least. That is proof that it is generally a actual analog out from a BBC Micro. Bit of uh, interference on the feed, that's because of the modification I did might have not been as good as it could have done but it uh, gives you that authentic 80s slightly wobbly look. I can assure you on my monitor which is an RGB out uh, I'm not getting that, but I'm getting the um, tech jumping up and down with the scan rate of the monitor. So no one's going to win. Anyway, welcome to Stylus. This is pretty much my childhood at school. The BBC Micros we had ran this program and this program only. And I've been very fortunate, thanks to the um, members of I think it's Stardot, the for web forum. Uh, they actually had a copy of this program. You could download as a zip and then through various methods you can actually write it back to working floppy disk and get an authentic copy of the program preserved and back up and running. So as well as having the original hardware, be it the BBC Micro, I've now got the correct monitors, I now have the software that we had at school. So for me this is quite a nostalgic moment even though it's a word processor it's not the greatest in the world but let me show you what it does anyway. So basically Stylus is a word processor so has very large letters and mostly works in lowercase of those shift 
will actually uh, do uppercase letters. Delete works and the cursor keys which wasn't normal for the BBC Micro normally when you press the cursor keys it wouldn't do this it would actually do this thing in the uh, standard boot command prompt so yeah it's uh, it's all right it's worked I it's kind of fond memories of using this program um, let's have a look at um, bringing up the menu so to do that we press the escape key and we have this menu um, and we can actually load up some save files so let's have a look pipe the story from memory yes you can hear the uh, drive kicking in there and there's some let's have a good example Strathmiddlelys? I can't even pronounce that. Strath Strathmiddlelys College. But why is it? I always get the words I can't say. Uh, but there you are. There's actually the um, story behind Stylus. Uh, concept writer. And there's the bottom. So that, if you like, is very much, I suppose, the sort of the read me story to what Stylus is or was. Well, what's really cool now I'm gonna to have to just unpin my mic because this is going to be a bit quiet on this machine so hopefully you're gonna be able to hear this check out the talk There you go. Now that's quite impressive for the 8-bit machine. Uh, that talk software isn't, well, that talking ability rather, isn't a synthesizer chip on the machine itself. It's doing it purely from software. And I believe the software actually came from, I think Superior Software, who had a talking software-based talking engine, which was used in the game Siege of Dale, when uh, you boot that game at the beginning and it sort of goes Siege of Dale, Siege of Dale, and talks a bit at you. And I believe that's actually the uh, custom engine, uh, which has been incorporated into our stylus here. So not an awful lot else on the options. Um, print, if you had a printer, save, load, stop. Um, if we go to stop, it will say wipe all memory from memory. We'll say yes. And there is, if you like, the end screen, uh, kindly reminding you to uh, remove the disk before you uh, take the computer, uh, turn the computer off rather. So there we go, that is a quick review of Stylus, the 8-bit word processor for the BBC Micro, a big part of my childhood, especially at school. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, and join me next time right here on the Wi-Fi Sheep channel. Bye for now.